Namaste Capricorns. Hi, my name's Case and welcome to your October 2019 read. I don't know what's up with the camera today. It's going from red to regular color. Okay. I'm gonna get the energy for Capricorns for October 2019. We have the three of green and 17 black. You need to open your hearts, Capricorn. You need to open your hearts and allow love to come in, whether it's new love, love of self. You know, you could have been hurt because you have the healing card here. 17 black is temperance. Temperance is represented by um, a feeling of needing to balance you know, you need to heal from some past hurts, let certain things go, because as you can see in the picture, it's about breaking, breaking these chains, breaking free. You know, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, Temperance is Sagittarius energy. It's like the energies are telling you to heal your heart at this moment in time, Capricorn. Let go of whatever was chaining you to that hurt and pain. The three of green is represented by the three of cups. It's about um, partnerships, celebrations, you know, parties being supported by friends. Sometimes um, you think that your support's only gonna come from another person. You have to also remember there's a higher power, there's God always always holding you it's just like that that poem um about the footsteps in the sand you never you i'll never see one set of footsteps and when you ask god where was you when i cried to you he says i was carrying you that's why there was only one set of footsteps until you could walk again you were being carried by spirit and it's time now for you to share this love and open up On the base of the deck, we have um, the Three of Black, which is nurture, it came out in the reverse. The Three of Black is represented by um, the Empress. Um, the Empress is water and earth energy, as well as Venus. You're feeling as though you're stagnant, you're stuck, you know, Thank you to my son O'Shea. <laughs> he was setting out the um, the back backing noise because he knows I love flutes. I absolutely love flutes for clearing your chakras, balancing your mind. Oh, let me go again. The incense of the day is Nug Champa. Sorry, I'm getting some coffee in. As I was saying. Because we have the um, Empress in reverse at the base of the deck, the cards are telling me that you're having a lack of concentration, you're feeling anxiety over some past um, transgression, whether it's you or the other person, some past infidelity where your stability was rocked, your stability was turned upside and down, Capricorns. But underneath that, we have the one of green, this is the Ace of Cups. This is the um, Love Abound. Okay. This is this is telling me that you have an abundance of joy and love coming in. You know, but you have to. You have to break these chains and open your heart. Allow that love, the love from the universe to shine through you, to open up, to allow allow you to love again and be loved you deserve this Capricorn you deserve this I'm feeling drawn to bring out one more these two came out okay we have 19 black and 14 black in reverse 19 black is represented by the Sun card 
and it's telling you to shine. You know, you have a lot of joy and happiness coming to you. If only you open your heart, you see that ray of light. If only you just breathe and let go of these chains. You have the 14 black, that's temp, that's, um, yeah, it is temperance. You've got that in reverse. This also speaks of um, you not feeling balanced because <laughs> as you can see, it's balanced in reverse. You're not feeling balanced. You know, you're feeling a bit frustrated and impatient, you know, but it seems like because you've got so much major arcane and this is just the energy of the read, right? The universe is divinely guiding this. You know, because when you look at the Share the Love Club, what can you see? You can see the div a divine couple in the background. It seems like you're calling in your, your a soulmate. Which is going to bring you joy. A lot of joy and happiness. But you have to remember, it all starts from within. You know, the circumstance that you was previously and it's left you, left you a bit unbalanced emotionally because as I said, your heart is starting to crack because you're breaking free of these toxic chains that were holding you. deck upside and down and on the base of the deck we've got the third eye chakra right you need to be tapping into your intuition you know when your third eye chakra is underbalanced it's telling me that you're not focusing on the truth that's within you you know answers are coming to you in your dreams you could, I'm getting the impression that this is a breakup that you, that you were coming from Capricorn. It definitely is a breakup because we've got you breaking these toxic bonds. As I was saying, the 17 is represented by the star card and the star card is all about um, spiritual love, you know, love of self, having hope. You're gonna heal Capricorn, you're healing, you are healing as, as we speak. Every day it gets a little easier. Also with this shine card, I'm getting the feeling like it's like you're being you're being lifted up. And a spotlight is shining you. A one and a nine is a ten. And that a 10 speaks of a completion, ending of a cycle. Change. And the one and the four speaks of um, conflicts and arguments, which caused you to be, one and the four is represented by five, which is about um, conflicts and arguments, you know, negativity, you know, harsh words, which caused you to be unbalanced. And it seems like it, it, it closed off your heart. Like your heart is opening now, Capricorn, because you're breaking free of this toxic chain. You're being divinely guided through your third eye, the six. The six also represents um, leaving behind and overcoming negative situations and circumstances. Assessing where you are right now, what you've been through, because it is a lesson. Everything is a lesson. I, um, sorry, <laughs> everything is a lesson, you know, and 
it's as though you're being divinely guided. To keep your heart chakra opened. Because I'm sure this, because it's third eye, it, it's speaking to me saying that something, this person or situation that you're healing from that was toxic to you, was coming to you in your dreams. You were being attacked in your sleep, which was causing you to be unbalanced. Which was bringing up a lot of um, um, negativity. You know, like when you um, rehash um, bad memories of the past. That's basically what was happening. Sorry, I'm trying to get in the frame. Yeah, rehashing uh, memories of the past. You know. Um... Underneath that, we've got the Nine of Black. The Nine of Black is the Virgo, is Virgo energy. It's represented by the Hermit. So you had to go within. You know, the Nine represents things coming to fruition, you know, coming to an end or, or coming to the end that it needed to come to. This is about the hermit. This is about um, solitude. You know, you had to go within. You had to go to the inner source. You had to go to God for this. And in turn, you go into God. You've opened up your third, your third eye. You've become more intuitive. What did I just say? Underneath that, we've got the crown chakra. So you've been getting spiritual downloads. The seven represents, um, <coughs> the seven represents, you know, being divinely guided. And just because I'm showing you that, it's not the next card, but there's another seven. So this is telling me it's right. Daydreams and decisions, you know. The seven represents being divinely guided. Let me put these cards down. Being divinely guided, you know. Having the, 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 put my teeth back in. Having the, having the determination and perseverance to push through, because you're being assisted by spirit to break free from the toxic cycle. <laughs> oh my goodness, Capricorn, Capricorn! I think I'm gonna have to go with what I'm seeing here. Okay, we're going to take these cards. Okay. Because you've got daydreams and decisions. You've got the 16, the tower, rebuild. You've got the one of black, the magician. You're manifesting in the crown chakra. Let's bring the camera back down a bit so you can see what I'm seeing. Use this to light my incense. Oh, and um, the incense of the day, if I haven't said it already, is Nag, Ch Nag Champa. Okay. As I took these cards from the base, I'm going to turn over the top card. Spirit told me to, to turn the, this card upright. Okay. <clears throat> so you've you definitely had a tower moment. This is the 16 black. The tower is represented by fire and Mars energy. Fire energy is Aries, Aries Sagittarius, sorry, fire energy is Aries Leo Sagittarius, and it's, the tower again is a one and a six, it's a seven, it's been divinely guided, you've got three sevens out here, this is definitely, it's 
spirit is really working hard with you Capricorns because with the sun card here it's time for you to open up open up your heart chakra come into your true self because this situation that you are coming from has left you emotionally unbalanced it left you in such a state that you went into hermit mode where you had I mean you weren't exactly isolating yourself from people I mean you you still continued because I don't see full devastation where you couldn't actually get back up you got back up and you continued but it put it forced you into a spiritual quarantine where you had to seek the truth which caused your third eye to open up Then we have the Seven of Green, which represents the Seven of Cups. You know, which tells me that you're gonna have you have a lot of options which are gonna bring you joy, a lot of joy and content from within. And the way her arms are opened up, you're gonna be drawing that all of that joy, all of that joy and love to you. Because you're rebuilding Capricorn. kid you not you are in manifestation mode you are bossing up because you sought you went into that spiritual quarantine and you came out a manifester you are manifesting you you have all of the tools Because you're being intuitively, divinely guided. As I said, you've got the three sevens out here. Okay. We're going to, um, I'm going to keep the sun card. Because this is major arcanas here. I'm going to keep the major arcanas that came up. Because you've got the sun, the tower, <laughs> the magician, you have balance in the reverse, which is temperance, and you have um, Virgo. So you have Leo, and um, the tower is Mars and fire energy, which is again, Leo, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the, um, the magician here, the magician is fire and mercury energy so this is the man mercury is about a manifestation you know having the willpower and strength to draw everything into you because as i said you know we're going to keep these cards to one side your third eye chakra and your crown chakra is alerted you know the six and the seven goes to a 13 which comes down to a four which says that you've had a chance to sit back as i said you was in spiritual quarantine and you've recouped. Put the daydreams up here with that. Because love abounds. Put the ace of cups here. Overflowing joy and delight, you know, is coming to you, Capricorn. first card that fell out underneath the magician you have the magician i kid you not i can't make this up sorry on the tower on the tower you have the magician next to the magician so the tower this rude awakening at the time it was the hardest thing you had to do you had to leave behind you know a, a friendship or a relationship that meant, it meant so much to you. But your heart, your heart, your heart had to crack open. It had to crack away. It had to break free of that negative influence because you have the magician falling on the tower. Even though you went through this rude awakening, you're still manifesting because you have the infinity sign, the eight, the eight is about change. You know, you're drawing this new change in.
because on the base of the deck we have the seven of wands if you put someone on block or someone's blocking you but you have you had competition around you but you are in a good position because you're still holding on to your ace of wands let's get one in the um 19 shine Again, we've got the seven of cups which is about decisions and daydreams you've got a lot of um you're gonna have a lot of options capricorn a lot of choices this can also signify somebody that's relying a bit too much on um drugs lack of focus or alcohol lack of focus but i you know <laughs> another seven okay divinely guided absolutely beautiful as i said that this person or situation hurt you you were stabbed time and time and time again by this person but you're dead but not dead dead Happy, the sure footed goat. You're playing possum. You are playing possum because you got a magician here. You're in manifestation mode. And on, on the base, we've got this King of Wands energy. This is some about being decisive and taking, you know what I mean? The King of Wands is somebody. That energy is somebody who's charming, who draws people in, you know. But it's my it's my play of the deck. The ones, the ones, the queen of ones, the king of ones, even though they they are very decisive, they plan. But you are living to your word about leaving a situation or circumstance behind. of new beginnings new beginnings in love it's like the universe is going to be offering this new love to you the ace of swords because you've had clarity of mind I'll leave that way for you've had clarity of mind you've made a clear decision Cappy is for this new beginning you know you're seeing things for what they are even if it was a, it's, this is a win-win situation because you've got your two aces here and you've got the magician two magicians the card that fell on it was the ace of wands in reverse The Ace of Wands in the Ace of Wands speaks of a passionate new beginning in creativity, you know. Um, but it being in, in reverse is saying that you're lacking a little bit of confidence with this new beginning that you have coming towards you. Again, we have the Hermit card. This is the second time it's shown up. You're going to be relying on your intuition a lot. You're being intuitively guided. And this guidance is going to come in many ways. It's going to come through people. It can come through a video you see on YouTube. It's going to come from your children. But this new beginning, you've got one, two, three, four aces out here. This is a beautiful reading for you, Capricorns. The Hierophant just jumped out. Hierophant, it speaks of a contract and be a contract that you are not wishing a new beginning in. So this, it could have been a marriage. It could have been a business contract that you're not offering 
to you anymore. The Hierophant is represented by Taurus energy. You're not offering to that situation because there was no justice. Justice is Libra energy. There was no justice. And you wasn't getting your wish fulfillment. You had to step back from the situation because to recuperate, you've got the four of swords, so you had to step back from this situation. Because you're seeking a ten of cups and again another seven. You've got the chariot here, which is cancer energy. You're seeking your ten of cups, your happiness, your joy, your stability. You're coming out of this heartbreak and disappointment. Okay? This is, this could be a divorce, a breakup. You know, you're coming out of this with the Five of Cups in reverse. You're going to be seeking your Two of Cups. The, char the chariot is also about getting um, spiritual downloads. See the star on his head? It's about moving forward successfully because you are coming out of this heartbreak. You're taking a leap of faith. You're not being the fool. You're taking a leap of faith. You're not being the fool anymore. Again, you just saw me shuffle. The fool came out again on top. You know. Him standing on the mountain. He's got you. You've you've got a higher perspective. Even though you're afraid of taking this new beginning, you've got so many aces out here. You're being divinely guided with all of the sevens. You're afraid of taking this leap of faith. But you're going regardless, even though you're not ready. Look how he's dressed. Who's, who, as you can see, he's got his bag. And he's holding on to his ace of ones, his new beginning. That ace of ones that was in the reverse. He's now on his shoulder for the new beginning. The new beginning that you're going to take, Capricorn. You're not ready for it because you're not dressed for an adventure. But you're still going to go. You've got the sun card. The sun card. The sun in the background and all this yellow. The yellow is about hope, abundance, prosperity, you know. Yeah, because you was the wounded warrior. We have a nine here. You've been through some fangs. But you're still holding on to your ace of wands. Again, the ones again. Air, um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're holding on to your what, ace of wands of passion. Again, we have the hermit coming out because you've gone within and sought inner wisdom. You've put your you've put yourself in solitude. Look at him standing on this icy mountain. You've put yourself in spiritual quarantine to get through this situation, and you've had to make a choice. You see the lovers. But you're gonna get an offer. Somebody's some. There's it's either you or. The Page of Cups speaks of an offer of stability because of, it speaks of um, in the, the the preliminary stages. I'll bring one more in on this time. It's like you've made a choice about something in the past, and because it's on the Five of Cups, you're not offering you're not offering to that situation anymore. Because there was a lot of heartbreak around this stability, around this lovers, around this love situation. Okay. King of Cups. This person was very emotionally manipulative. Cruel. Emotionally cold. And you had to make a head over heart decision to cut it out very quickly. It was something that you wanted to hold on to. But you had to boss up. The Emperor energy, Aries energy coming in here. You had to boss up and come into yourself. Because you are the Queen of Cups. You're very nurturing, loving. You are the, 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 a good wife, a good mother. You was being the good wife, good mother. To this Emperor.
but you're not willing to accept any more offers from that situation. You've got the four of cups here. You've got your arms folded. <laughs> You've blown time on that situation because you are the empress. See? You're abundant. You're stepping into your abundance. This is you. This is you bringing in your harvest. Yeah, but you need to heal. The eight, the one and the seven, the star card is represented by um, Aquarius energy. You know, because the situation was a disappointment. The situation from the past was a disappointment to you. But you're finding the balance now. You're balancing out. You're able to manage your finances and your emotions. Because you can see the water's in the back. Yeah, you was a bit up and down. But you're managing your emotions right now, Capricorns. Because the Wheel of Fortune is here. The Wheel of Fortune is um, Jupiter and Fire Energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about change. This is about guaranteed good good luck. Because we have the um, Knight of Pentacles. This is about you making stable, secure plans to bring in your abundance. The Knight of Pentacles is the slow and moving, moving knight in the deck. But the Wheel of Fortune is here to say that these plans that you're making for your future are going to be successful. Because we have the high priestess showing up. This is telling me that you've gone within. You know, the moon. Can you see the little half moon at the bottom there? This is the new moon for new beginning. The high priestess sits between the two pal um, um, Solomon's two pillars of wisdom. Boaz and Jashin. So she knows there's some secrets. She knows. Your intuition is litty right now, Capricorn. Let me bring another deck in. Okay. I'm being drawn to give a reading on this tower card. Okay. I don't normally, I don't read my cards in reverse. I always put them in the upright unless they're divinely guided to turn off to give extra weight to the messages that I'm guided to give you. Okay, let's move, remove this deck. Because we're going to see what's going on with the 16 the tower card because it's it's just screaming at me the one and the seven because I said, said you, this is divinely guided you know let's find out what this tower card means to for Capricorn this rude awakening this ending of this situation I'm drinking my cold coffee now okay that's a lot of cards we have the hierophant the hierophant speaks of a breaking of the contract because we have the tower card here have come out in the reverse we have the moon card the moon card reversed the the moon is represented by um, Pisces energy we have the four of swords in reverse we have the eight of cups in reverse we have the ten of wands in reverse we have the justice card in reverse the five of cups and the wheel of fortune the Wheel of Fortune, again, as I said, is represented by fire and Jupiter energy. This is the planet, you know, the planet of action, of change. Justice is Libra energy. Sorry, we have 
one more card that was just sticking out of the deck the six of swords so this tower moment has caused you to actually want to end a end the contract it could be a contract of marriage you know you've had to seek with inner wisdom the hierophant is the is a priest it's the greek word for priest high priest you know if you went to somebody to seek this wisdom or this as i was saying you're being divinely guided you've been given this download through your third eye chakra and your crown chakra you know nothing is no longer there's no more illusions now the four of swords in reverse speaks of renewed activity you know you're not going to be stagnant after this tower moment you're not going to be stagnant stagnant oh, excuse me excuse me you're not going to be stagnant anymore you know you're wanting pleasure joy and success but this continued burden is is causing an injustice in your life and you're coming out of it now with the five of cups in the reverse you had that before with the luminous rider weight deck you're coming out of this heartbreak you know you're seeking your two of cups but you're feeling a little bit stagnant with, with the um the wheel of fortune in reverse but the seven you also have the six of swords the six of swords speaks about moving on into smoother waters into calmer waters because you are rebuilding Capricorns. Let's move these up. And you find them. You are rebuilding. With the Page of Cups here. The Page of Cups speaks of. You know, it could be a surprise or offer of new love. You're moving on. Yeah, it's an offer of new love that's going to be coming in quickly with the Knight of Wands here. But you are the Queen of Swords at the moment. You're a truth, truth seeker because you've been through some things, Capricorn. You're prepared to hear things out, but you're also prepared to cut them out if it's bullshit that they're coming with. Because you've had a lot of sleepless nights and anxiety from the experience, things that you experienced in the past. But the karma card is here. The judgment card is here. You know, to end all of this past negativity. Because you have the ten of coins. You're calling in your stability. Foundation where everybody's happy. You know, the children, the bright partner, the pentacles is up. See? Two tens ending of cycles beginning of cycles right on the 20 what can i say you are going to get this ten of cups and this ten of pentacles capricorn on the base of the deck we have the seven of cups another seven about you having to focus because as i said and keep saying you are being divinely guided to heal open your love open up your, your heart chakra and allow this new love to come in you have to be open for this new love. Don't allow the toxicity that put you in the Queen of Swords state. To continue. Because you've got the Nine of Swords falling on the next to the Ten of the Queen of Swords holding her One of Swords. So that person really did you dirty. They stabbed you over and over and over again, Capricorn. Which gave you a lack of focus. But your stability is assured. You've got the King of the King of Pentacles so showing up for you. So this person that's going to be showing up for you is the King of Pentacles. He's stable. He's secure. He has everything he needs. He might even be a little bit conceited. You see the grapes above him. That speaks of, you know, success. We have the world card again. The world card speaks of a, a ending and a beginning of a new cycle. And we also have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups speaks of, you know, 
nostalgia. It could even mean gifts. <laughs> As I said, it could even mean gifts. Knight of Cups there. Gifts of love. You have the Knight of Cups coming. So you're going to be getting an offer of love from this King of Pentacles. This stability. It's going to be good news. You've got the Page of Cups here. And <laughs> I can't make this up. You have also have the Ace of Cups here. Brand new beginning in love. That's been divine guided with all of these servants. It's like the universe is going, come on Capricorn, wake up now. It's time for you to reap the benefits. You know, it is time. Let's get some final advice from my Capricorns. I'm going to use the after tarot deck. Some final advice for Capricorns. October 2019. Some final advice for Capricorns. October 2019. Okay. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords. The strength card, which is represented by Leo energy, she also has the infinity sign. It speaks of patience, um, resisting temptation, being strong. It's also about courage. You have the page of cups and the ten of the ten of wands. So you you have been mentally trapped, feeling been feeling mentally trapped. But somebody's coming to help you with this. And they come in very quickly to help you cut through this bullshit, you know, to help you maintain your strength because they're coming to offer you love. Right? You're going to put down them burdens of the past because you're holding on to your passionate new beginning. Because you are the queen, you are the queen of cups. You're very intuitive. You're loving. You're you're nurturing. Yeah, because you're coming out of heartbreak it's or third party situation. You're looking good, showing up as the queen of wands. You're looking good, smelling good, you're confident. Yeah, in the past you had a lot of, there was a lot of arguing, empty victories where you're being breadcrumbed. But nothing, nothing is in the dark now. Everything is out in the open. There's no more illusions. You're letting that situation go. And you're managing. This is the Cinderella of the deck. You're going to reap your investments. The seeds that you've sown, Capricorn. You're going to reap them. Again. I kid you not. The Ten of Cups. This is what you're getting. Stability, the love, the financial stability, the emotional support. All that you've been wanting, Capricorn, you're going to get. Because you are the Empress. And it's time to reap your harvests. Beautiful reading for Capricorns. I feel like I need to give one more card on this. From the Kipper deck. Please give me one final card of advice for Capricorns. October 2019. One final advice. Oh, that's too many cards. That's too many cards. Final advice for Cap Capricorns. October 2019. Again, too many cards. What's going on? <laughs> okay, then. Three of three this is the marriage card this is the stability that i said that you're gonna get but you have to open your heart the ten of cups all these tens ending of cycles beginning of cycles this is going to be someone that you're going to marry they're going to come to you as the official person and you're going to know them 
Yeah, distant horizons. Because you are the look. I can't make this up. I cannot. A marriage card. You know, this is what the person they're gonna be offering you. This is what they want from you. You know, you're going to be in your head about it, but it's again a one and a seven being divinely guided. Distance horizons, things will come to fruition. They're coming to you, Capricorn, because you are the privileged lady. And as I said, they're going to approach you as the official person. The mature person. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful reading for Capricorn. It's time. Open up your heart and share that love. Break free of the toxicity that you lived in. See the star in your heart chakra. Let that love in. Let it love in. You know, you're coming out of this five of cups. It's come up twice in this reading. You know, divinely guided. This is my God card. This is, you know... And it came out right next to the tower. That break from that situation. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. That was the October 2019 reading for Capricorn. With Case at Frequency Phoenix 555. Please like, subscribe and share. Also, if you're requiring a reading from me. Please email me on um, FrequencyPhoenix555 at gmail.com. Namaste.